What is going on guys? My name is Youngster Japer and welcome back to the second episode of my Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke Challenge. I don't know about you but I'm pretty excited about today's episode because today is the day we go out and catch ourselves a fair few amount of new Pokemon and you know, the way I left last episode is the way we're going to start this episode with a new Pokemon in this new area and it is going to be a Starly. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. I like out of the few Pokemon that you can catch early on, Starly's probably you know the like one of the better Pokemon you could get. Like obviously though, I don't know in terms of hacks. I mean, Rattata could be the best Pokemon you can get uh, from now on. But you know, Starly, I'm I'm gonna take Starly. Um, so we're gonna just gonna throw a couple of tackles at this little bird and chuck some Pokeballs at it. And as long as we don't crit it, that seems pretty good. We got ourselves our first our first. Pokemon. So yeah, I think that's at a low enough health now. Go to the bag. 15 Pokemon, we've got plenty of Pokeballs. And you know, we should be able to catch a Pokemon in Cherry Grove City. You know, we have got that old rod. As well as uh, a couple of routes further up as well. Um, we might have to do a little bit of grinding on the way because, you know, as I said, this is a hack. And uh, we catch a Starly. And Starly's day was added to the Pokedex. That's, that's a pretty big catch in my opinion. So they flock around mountains and fields chasing after bug Pokemon. Their singing is noisy and annoying. And you know, this guy, he's our first encounter, and I think there's only one name for a bad boy like Starly, and that is, that is Starchild. You know, he's, he's, the, he's the first Pokemon we catch, and you know, other than, other than Big Red, I think Starchild is going to be, you know, probably the MVP of this entire series. Um, Starchild, welcome to the team, let's take a look at this guy. You know, see what nature he is, see, see his stats, see his moves, hardy nature, um, that's okay I guess, I mean, no plus or minus whatsoever, and yeah, that's, that's a good good addition to the team, so Style, let's put you up, out in front, let's see if we can get you a couple of levels, and we're also going to need to potion up a couple of these bad boys, um, obviously we aren't using that Eevee, um, that is kind of why it's called No. And um, hopefully you might have noticed already, but I am actually recording this on the Desume uh, Nintendo DS emulator as opposed to the No Cash Zuma. Um, I have actually recently got a new laptop and it is a lot better, so uh, it can actually run Desume. My old laptop couldn't, and um, that should hopefully be better in terms of quality output. Um, the only trouble is, it, it, I don't know, it seems a little laggy sometimes. Um, but again, you know, for it to be able to run this smoothly is, is something, something amazing in my opinion. Um, and yeah, so while Sentry appeared, this shouldn't be a problem, actually I just remembered the Sentrits do carry that Dizzy Punch, so yeah, I do not want to risk entrance early on, Starchild is a pretty good Pokemon. I mean, the, the second Gym Badge is, uh, is of course Bug, and we have Sprout Tower coming up as well, so Big big Red and Starchild should, uh, should definitely be able to take that on fairly easily. Uh, it would be nice to get an Electric Rock, maybe Ice type Pokemon for this first badge. You know, I, I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. But yeah, just a, a couple more tackles should do the trick on the Sentry, and maybe... See, that's, that's the Dizzy Punch I was scared of. Base 70 move coming off, you know. I guess a level 3 Sentry isn't too scary, but this early on in the game, I'm not taking any chances whatsoever. I want to keep that death's number to an absolute minimum. And there we go, Big Red getting bigger than ever. Level 8. Way to go, buddy. You know, like, this is kind of like a whole new game for me as well, just because of uh, the new implications that the uh, that Drayana has put in place. This, I, I, every, every level's a surprise for me. I wouldn't be surprised if... I don't know if Star Child learns like Sky Attack at level 11 or something, obviously he won't, um, but just little changes like that just makes this game a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Because um, you know, I've, I've played Heart Gold and Soul Silver so many times, so just that little bit of different makes it a lot enjoyable for me, and hopefully that'll come across to, to you guys and be a bit better for you to watch as well. Um, so, yeah, this, this is going good. I want to try and get Star Child up to you a know, nice level. And in fact, we, we've already taken that potion. My bad. A wild Pidgey. See, part of me kind of wanted the Pidgey uh, as the first Pokemon, just for like the nostalgia that's involved. You know, like, it's, it's pretty much the first Pokemon people catch and use, like, back in, back in first gen days on the, 
Pokemon Red and Blue. But otherwise, yeah, a Bidoof, like something like a Bidoof or a, a Zigzagoon, they'd probably be the two Pokemon I wouldn't have wanted to have. Like, I've, I've had a look at some of the documents and stuff, and I realised that, like, uh, I think Ferret, Ferret gets, um, like, the three elemental punches when it evolves at level 15, so something like that would be really, really good. I've just realised that there is a cheeky little route up here, and uh, we are in Route 46, which, ladies and gentlemen, is a new route, is a new area, so let's catch ourselves a new Pokemon. I told you this is all about recruitment. You know, we want to strengthen this team, and we get a Spearow. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take a Spearow. Um, you know, I, like, I think you can catch Geodudes in this area, so something like a Geodude would have been a bit nicer. But, um... Yeah, Spearow, they're, they're fairly solid, Spearows, I don't know, they might be a bit better um, in this hack, of course, you know, I have no idea, and I, yeah, I think if I can catch a Spearow, I might use it instead of Starly, you know, I've used Staraptors before, Brave Bird, Close Combat, you can't really go wrong, but, you know, this is a hack, so, I don't know, Spearow might get, might get something a little bit cheeky, it's got Pursuit, that's, that's quite nice, I guess. And um, I think we should be able to catch it from here. So Pokeball, go! Let's catch ourselves a new member of this team. Oh, what, what do I call this guy? So it's a tiny bird Pokemon. It flaps its short wings to flush out insects from tall grass. It then plucks them with its stubby beak. And uh, just from reading that Pokedex entry, I think I've, uh, I've got a name for this guy. And that is going to be Stubby. So, Stubby the Spearow. Um, sounds quite nice. Stubby the Fearo, not quite though. So, uh, but never mind, Stubby. Stubby Spearow, welcome to the team. Let's check this guy out as well. Level 4. Uh, he's a brave nature. I uh, guess that's kind of good and bad, you know, we do get a nice attack raise, but that drop in speed might uh, prove to be something to worry about later on in the game, but not a bad addition, so yeah, let's check his moves actually, Peck, Pursuit and Growl, and Starchild just has Tap and Growl, so yeah, yeah I, I guess we know we've got a little bit of decisions to make early on, but it's mean, this, this is like this start, sort of stage of any Nuzlocke is easily like my favourite, just being able to decide because there's so many new routes early on and the Pokemon you catch pretty much shape your entire team through the rest of the game um, if you play your cards right and don't you know, get killed of course. Um, so yeah, I, I really want to try and look after all these Pokemon as much as possible. Um, and I'm going to do that by healing up straight to this Pokemon Center of course. There we go, thank you Nurse Joy, and whilst I'm here as well, I think I'm going to put that Eevee in the box as well, um, just before I forget, and we can continue on, and catch ourselves a uh, another Pokemon in Cherry Grove City, so, let's, um, let's go ahead and put that Eevee in the bottom there. What I like to do as well, um, with my boxes when doing Nuzlocke, is uh, kind of put all the dead or like unusable Pokemon at the bottom, um, and obviously just put the the live Pokemon here. But I think I'm gonna not do that actually. Um, if I can just get hold of Eevee, and I think I'm gonna put him in box two. So box two is gonna be the death box or like the unusable, and box one is gonna be the box that we can use. And um, just because I know that, like, I think most Pokemon that you catch with an old rod all come at level 10. And, you know, I'm not really, I don't think I'm really prepared for that, especially with the, the Pokemon you catch with an old rod being uh, super effective. It's a big red out there, so I'm just going to quickly go do a little bit of grinding and I will be back uh, after that, so yeah.
Okay, so I've done a little bit of training, not as much as I would have hoped to do, you know, I just got a little bit bored, uh, to, to be honest, but, you know, I got stubby up a level, I got star child up a couple levels, and I got big red up a level as well, so, before I am going to go uh, fish, in, uh, fish in this nice little bit of water here as well, I think we're going to go see what our encounter is up here in Route 30, so, um, you know, this is a new route, this is a new area, and we can get a new Pokemon, and that Pokemon, uh, Weddle. Uh, nice little Weddle. Um, Beedrills did get a pretty big boost uh, in this hack, but if you'd seen, um, you know, some of my previous Let's Play of Pokemon Heart Gold of uh, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer, you'll know that I'm not really of the Weedle family. Although, uh, but you know, nonetheless, this is the the uh, encounter for this route, so I will catch this Weedle, and it gets bug bite already, which is um, not very effective, but it's still a nice move. And yeah, I think me and this Weedle can- oh, no, never mind, I was going to say we could be friends, but, uh, it got critical hitted. So, never mind, I did say that me and the Weedle family didn't get on very well. So there goes that encounter, and, um, well, that was, that was a bit of a shame, really. You know, these uh, Beedrills getting a nice boost and everything, nice bit of attack raise, better moves as well. But, uh, nope. Of course, we we didn't catch it, so there goes our encounter. Um, and I think now we really do need to catch catch a Pokemon in Cherry Grove City. To be fair, not catching that Weedle is probably more of a gift than a burden. You know, leveling up with a weak Pokemon like a Weedle, especially Cocoon as well, at such an early stage in this game, could prove to be quite a challenge. But nonetheless, it's time to catch ourselves a new Pokemon. I think I'm going to put Star Child out in front, just because. I'm scared of what water Pokemon Big Red might have to face against, but saying that Big Red is the highest. Uh, I'm going to keep Big Red out in front actually, and I'm going to go into my bag, and we're going to go to that old rods that nice gentleman gave to us, and we're going to see what we can get. So, I guess this is a new area, new route, whatever you want to call it, and we can catch ourselves a new Pokemon, which is going to be... I'm excited, if it's a Magikarp, I'm going to be just, it's a Magikarp. Wow! Well, you know, I did say a Gyarados would be nice, but a reversal? Uh, sorry, what? Yes, again, this is, you know, just one of the wonders of these hacks, and, you know, that tackle is doing absolutely no damage whatsoever. And his reversals are just going to get better and better. But, you know, might as well catch it. It, it will for me now that um, the Pokemon we catch in other routes, it has bubble already. See, this is the thing I was scared about. I hope, luckily, it doesn't actually do too much. I think I'm going to go for one more tackle. And yeah, I'm definitely going to need to potion up now. And it's in the red as well, so... Hopefully, a, uh, a Pokeball should be able to catch it. And yeah, one of the things I forgot to mention as well is the how... Um, because I am playing by Dupes Lord, this means that any, like... In any other water areas, I could use my old rod. And um, if I get... A, if I get a different Pokemon, like, other than the Magikarp, then um, I can catch it within, like, five goes. Um, sorry, I've, I've said that completely wrong. Basically, if I get a Magikarp as my encounter, if I catch this now in the new route, I have up to five more chances to basically catch, catch a new Pokemon, um, as long as it's different. And, of course, yeah, we, sorry, I'm, I'm blabbling on here. We, we got a Magikarp, which is brilliant, and is a underpowered, pathetic <laughs> Pokemon. May jump high on rare occasions, but usually not more than seven feet. And um, you know, I think I think a Gyarados would be pretty good, but at the moment he is just a Magikarp, and Magikarps can prove to be pretty deadly. So, Death Magikarp, welcome to the team. Let's check you out. See see what you got. I want to see if he has any other moves other than Tackle, Bubble, and uh, Reversal. And it's just them. Um, which you know, I guess is okay. He gets a naughty nature, uh, cheeky magic up, which uh, raises the attack and lowers the special defense uh, stats. So I guess that's kind of good. Um, we have ourselves a water Pokemon that actually has a water type move as well. So um, I guess those pesky dew dudes won't be a problem no more. I think we're just going to go heal up quickly and carry on, carry on with the adventure. Thank you, Nurse Joy. 
and yeah, I think, I think we're going to go up, go up north through Route 30 now. I don't know, I think Route 31 is a bit further up as well. Hopefully we could get there uh, before the end of this lesson. Uh, lesson, fuck. Um, back to college, back to my system. Before the end of this episode is what I tried to say. And there's that pesky weddle that, that got away. Well, I've got Big Red out in front. Let's, let's put someone else out. Let's put, let's put Stubby out in front. I'm still a bit undecided as to who I want to use between um, Stubby and Starchild, just because they could both be quite good. I think Fero um, is definitely an underused Pokemon that deserves a bit more credit. Like Fero used to be one of my favourite Pokemon. I used to always go for Fero over Pidgeot, uh, just because Fero got like Drill Peck. Um, Pidgeot's best move was like Wing Attack or Fly, which kind of annoyed me a bit. But again, you know, I'm excited to see what this hack brings to Spearow. Uh, obviously, Staropt is a pretty good Pokemon. And we battle our good, good friend, Youngster Joey, who has his uh, infamous Rattata, level 7. That's definitely some top percentage shit right there. And I'm pretty scared to take on this Rattata, actually, so... I'm going to go out to Big Red and see what Big Red can do. Saying that, though, I think this guy's quick attacks or tackles are going to be doing a fair bit of damage and I don't like the look of them tail whips because if he gets a few of the like defense drops on me I won't be able to take a hit no matter what. It is a solid three hit KO but again his tail whips I'm not liking them one bit. And there's the quick attack fence. Big Red should be able to take that but I won't be able to take another one so bring him down to a low enough HP where I think I hope Starchild can come in and uh, kill him. But again, if this guy goes for if this guy goes for a quick attack, I don't know if I'd be able to take another one. Ah, I don't think my quick attack's gonna kill him either. Fuck, man, this Rattata really is some top percentage shit. You know, I think I'm gonna have to go out into death. Death's gonna come in and save the day. Who would have thought? Just because you know. I think Death has a bit of defense, so we might be able to take them um, Tail Whips a bit nicer. Uh, tail Whips them tackles, but obviously. Let's switch in. Um, I think Bubbles probably going to do the most damage, he says. Well, doesn't really matter. It goes for Focus Energy. This shouldn't be a problem. Death should be able to take him out now with one last bubble. And there we go. Who would have thought of Death coming in and saving the day? It's lucky we got that Magic Up saying about it now. Stubby gets to level 6, that's nice. Starchild gets to level 7 as well. Everybody's been out in this battle. Fuck, that is, that is some top percentage shit right there. Youngster Joey, everybody. I think he's, uh, he's definitely going to be, be a recurring person in this, uh, in this Let's Play as we definitely want to take that number. We want to hear all about that top percentage Rattata. Because that is what we're about. And I'm just going to quickly go heal up. Okay, so we're one trainer down now. And um, let's go onwards to another train. Whoa. I don't think this trainer was here in the, uh, the original one. You're like a new trainer, let me show you a lesson in flower power. Um, I'm going to hope that she's got some grass Pokemon actually, because Stubby could definitely do the experience. She has four Pokemon. And uh, the first one's a Beaudu. Uh, yes, this, I like this matchup. Stubby, you know, going for days with that Stab Peck. Does a lot of damage. But you know, I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to go like heal up after every trainer. Just because that's one, that's a massive ball egg, and two, it makes it like a bit shit for you guys as well. But I have said how much harder this hack is, and you can see already, uh, we've got a we've got a, a flower bitch with uh, four Pokemon that could have proved to be you know a fairly difficult thing if we didn't have Stubby here, and he gets a lot of experience. Stubby level seven, doing some work out there. That's one Pokemon down, so another Pokemon is going to be the Centret. I'm going to let Big Red take care of this. Yeah, them dizzy punches do scare me. I'm still gonna. You know, I'd rather play this this safe early on, and then you know, whilst we've got a bit more firepower, a bit more moves as well. You know, I'm waiting for Big Red to get Amber. I'm hoping he still does, and then you know, that's when we can really start getting to town with these guys. Um, so that Centrus sets up a defense kill. 
hopefully it should still be a 3 hit KO with uh, Big Red and that is probably more like a 4 hit KO now. So um, a couple more scratches should do the trick. We just keep tackling away. And yeah, that sentry hasn't done anything really. Big Red ain't got nothing to worry about. Because he's, he's Big Red. Big Red is killing he's killing Centrus. He's taking little baby centric souls. That's what he's doing. 72 experience again. That's that's a nice bit of experience. That this early on in the game. It's nice. And that's C dot. Uh, Stubby again. Can just absolutely go to town on these grass types with that with that peck. Super effective peck. From a little stubby beak like stubbies. It's gonna be fairly ironic actually when Stubby evolves into a Fearer. Just because Fear has got like possibly the least stubby beak out of like the entire Pokemon metagame. You see that was bullet to you guys. Yeah, that's not a problem really, unless he gets like five and four crit. But two times that's fine. Stubby, one more peck, should do the trick. And down goes to see that. Stubby gaining that nice experience, 94 experience. That's like half a level right there. And we have one more Pokemon, which is a Cherubi. Um, I'm going to see if Starchild can take on this guy. Uh, Cherubis aren't known to be the best Pokemon in general. Um, so Starchild should should be able to take out this. This pair of sweet purple testicles. Just quick attack this thing. A few of these should do the trick. Actually, it's looking a bit less than that. Here's the tackle. The tackle's doing about the same, actually. I let Star Child finish off this this, this, uh, this cherry actually there, just because that experience should be quite nice um, that we get from it. And yeah, we, our quick attacks are doing a fair bit more than the tackle. And of course, you know, priority is going to ensure that we go first every time. And if that was a crit, we could have been in trouble. But nonetheless, Star Child takes out the Cherubi, and that is another trainer down. So we're doing well. Other than that Weedle, I think we've had a pretty much a perfect start. And yeah, I told you that was a lot of experience. Star Child level 8, that's an entire level right there. And there we go. Aroma Lady Julia. She is... Was that bedazzled then? I, I don't quite read what she said then. But, you know, I think we are going to need to get a few more potions actually. Three left. Definitely want to get that get up on Star Child. I just want uh, Big Red to get Ember really. Once we've got Ember, you know, we'll be fine. In fact, I thought that I was ready to go for a battle, but I forget. She's not a trainer, and um, she tells us that we need to be prepared to battle. But this little bitch right here, what's she doing? She's just staring at that cliff face. She's like, fuck, I am so ready to jump this ledge. But she thinks that she'll win. She doesn't have that confidence again, and she's down to her. She's like, oh, maybe I'll win. And this is uh, against Idol Carly. She has a Jigglypuff. Again, this could be something to be scared of if it has that sing, because if we're put to sleep, we are, we are well and truly fucked. Um, but Pound, actually, was that 6 HP it did then? Um, fuck, if it gets a crit, we're, yeah, there's the sing. I didn't want to see that, really. Um, and there's no way I can stay in and, and wait this out, actually. So going to switch out. I think, yeah, let's go into Big Red. Let's play it safe. Big Red comes out against this, uh, this Jigglypuff that pound. Yeah, Big Red can take them for days. A couple of tackles should do the trick, if not one. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Big Red, 4 experience shared between us. Yeah, we, it's been, we, as, as more difficult this uh, this hack is, you do get a lot more experience. So I think like, yes, and there we go. There is the Ember. We are ready to go to town. Skitty, Big Red don't give a fuck. He's taking Skitty Souls. Like no tomorrow. Let's go for the Ember. But yeah, like I said, I mean, because this is a hack, everything is going to be a lot harder. But because there are a lot more trainers with better Pokemon, you know, you get more experience. So it kind of like levels out a little bit more anyway. Um, which you know, gives us a lot more to do. And gives you a lot more to watch as well. So that's me and Big Red, Ember. We are so ready now. There we go. And the last Pokemon is going to be a Clefairy. Um, I'm just going to stay in. Like, I think these things do carry cute charm, all three of them do, so, if we can just kind of, you know, stray away from, from a physical contact, get the burn as well on the Ember, I think that's what that's like, a 10% chance, and we are so sound. 
One more ember should do the trick, and Big Red is out there doing work. Killing them little baby pink pink Pokemon. And again, that's a nice bit of experience we get. Almost level 11. And we defeated Idol Kali. Uh, she lost her bad, and we get a bit of money. And we sent some back to our mum uh, to make us cookies. I don't think I have actually got any awakenings, which is a bit annoying. Um, how are my Pokemon looking actually? Um, they're looking alright. Stubby sleeping is something to be a little bit worried about, I guess. But um, Route 31 actually. This is a, a new route and a new area, so. Um, who do I want to go out in front? I think Death can go out in front for this. You know, just keep it optimistic. <laughs> Look at him on the floor. <laughs> He's like, Burp. Death is coming along happily. Um, I'm just a little bit scared if he's not moist enough. But anyway, death into the grass. <laughs> That's probably one of the finest things I've seen in Pokemon for a while. And we get a worm pull. Uh, I don't want that really. But I guess, you know, might as well catch it. Like Dust Toxin, Beautifly. They just, they just don't appeal to me whatsoever. I mean, Beedrill and Butterfree, that is where we want to be. But I guess anyway, we might as well catch this thing. Uh, a couple of tackles have done the trick. And I guess we're ready to chuck a Pokeball at this thing, so... You know, I guess we don't actually know whether it will be a Dust Ox or a Beautifly, so... And whether I'm actually going to be bothered to, to level up to that is either as well. I guess, you know, it might be fairly useful. Again, a bug Pokemon this early on in the game, especially against the first badge, which is flying, uh, definitely won't be that very good. So, Wormpool is the worm Pokemon. It lives among the tall grass and forest. It repels attackers by raising up the spikes on its rear. And let's uh, let's think for a name for this guy. I've actually got the perfect name for this guy, um, but I yeah, I've just remembered it. It's uh, Worm Tongue, I think is what it's called. The uh, little bastard guy off Lord of the Rings. Who uh, poisons is like the King of Rohan or something. But, um, anywho. Worm Tongue. I've spelt Worm Tongue wrong as well. There is an N. G. U. E. There we go. Just about fits in as well. And uh, Wormple Worm Tongue is added to the team. We might as well take a look at this guy. Level 6 is a careful nature, um, which isn't very good really. It does have Poison Sting and Bug Bite though, which is quite good. So, now I guess I guess it's always an option. I think Beautifly and um, Dustox have got uh, a bit of a buff in the sack as well. So, But you know, something like a Bell Sprout would have been a lot nicer. So just, you know, a solid grass Pokemon, as opposed to a little, uh, a little Bug Pokemon would have been a bit nicer. But anyway, is this guy going to ask us to battle? If Pokemon could light up, I could explore it. And you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Pokeball right here. Uh, which is a potion and I'm gonna end the episode here so we do have a new area that we can go in and take a look at and that is Dark Cave so I'm gonna end the episode here uh, as I did with the last episode so we can kickstart episode 3 it will be by catching ourselves a new Pokemon in Dark Cave so my name is Youngster JPal like, subscribe, favourite, comment all that good shit and I will see you all next time